So we wanted to tell you a little bit about the story of this. Um, you might know me as the host of the Zero Knowledge podcast. I'm also one of the co-founders of a company called ZK Validator. And in 2021, we wanted, like, basically between the two groups, we wanted to start, I don't know, like, doing builder-oriented uh, activities. But at the time, the ZK tool set was really not there. So instead, we created this, like, seven-week online event called ZK Hack. And it has since evolved into a much bigger project. So yeah, it's been uh, almost three years now, I suppose. So yeah, the team got uh, bigger. So Anna Rose and Kobe created it or originally. And now we have yeah, a larger team with Agnieszka, Rachel, Thor, Natalia, and myself. And uh, ZK Hack itself uh, grew a lot as well. So this is the ZK Hack verse, ZK Hack universe. So as Anna mentioned, what was originally kind of a single event, not a hackathon because the tools were not ready, but turned into something much larger, really much focused on the community. So, yeah. So what we wanted to do with today's presentation, because maybe just go back to that map for a second, like it's, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of different channels where people may know us and we wanted to use this time to kind of connect the dots and yeah, show you what is happening where, and maybe you find a spot that you want to get involved with. So the starting point can definitely be the website, zkhack.dev, and from the site, you can find links to our previous events. Uh, there's something called the ZK Whiteboard Sessions that I'm going to share a little bit about. There's something called the ZK Mesh Newsletter. So this used to be a different pro like it sort of was like floating in the ether, and we decided to put it under the ZK Hack umbrella. Um, there's puzzles, there's a blog, there's a forum, there's our Discord, which I think Gaylord's going to tell you about, because that has its own universe. So yeah, let's talk about the Discord. Uh, actually, Join the Discord. yeah, I'm going to take a pause now. It's not going to be the last time I ask you to check that out, but yeah. The Discord is, with the website, the big entry point for the ZK Hack community contents and knowing about the events. So yeah, check it out. And uh, yeah, that's how it looks like when you when you come in. So, quite a few things you can do you can do in there uh, when you want to know about ZK. That's definitely a place where you can find useful resource. Uh, it's obviously also a place where you will connect with the community. Uh, it's almost five thousand people that have joined the, the Discord over over the years now, with like a, a big core of active members as well. So, if you have any questions, that's the best place to ask. And uh, we try to keep the channels, I guess, organized and not too large so that new joiners won't get lost. But yeah, you, you can actually from there also have access to the different activity initiatives we have. So yeah, talking uh, to people in the general channels, but also discovering about uh, other activities that we have, such as uh, the study groups or, the, or even the events that we will talk after. So, I mean, I do the ZK podcast, which is sort of educational content, but the podcast is very broad. I talk about MEV, I talk about ZK sometimes, I talk about all sorts of things. With ZK Hack, though, we wanted to start creating content that was very much focused on like ZK education. And the first project that we did was called the ZK Whiteboard Sessions. This is, you can find this on the Zero Knowledge Podcast YouTube channel. And I know it's a bit confusing. There's definitely like a lot of connection points between all three projects, ZK Validator, ZK Podcast, and ZK Hack. But it is its unique, it's its, its own company and it's a, it's a unique project. So what we did for this was we collaborated with Polygon. We did a, I think it was like 16 part series, which was a whiteboard session. It started with three videos from Dan Bonet, from Stanford, actually explaining what a breakdown of a snark would look like. And then we had Brendan and Bobbin from the Polygon team, Brendan from Polygon Zero, Bobbin from Polygon Maiden, acting as kind of the interviewer of these other experts. And they we did these whiteboard sessions. Definitely very inspired by the NEAR team. I always want to give them credit for pioneering the, this whiteboard format. But um, yeah, we created this series with Polygon and I know I mean, I actually just checked this. I think there's almost like 30,000 views on the first one there. So like it, for ZK content, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it, to me, I mean, it's interesting because like 
doing the series, even though I'd been interviewing people for years, like who work in ZK, doing this series for me was, it, it was sort of a forcing function to sit down and actually look at how you break these down in more um, kind of like from an educational perspective, like nicely from Dan Bonet, who is actually able to describe these in a little bit clearer terms than some of the papers would. Um, yeah, so I know it's been used as a resource. And actually, I mean, we're about to talk about one of the ways that we've used it internally in our Discord. The study clubs. So any kind of yeah, content uh, that can be used for that is basically what the community would leverage on to learn. And some contents we produced, but of course, it's not the only thing that exists in ZK land. Uh, so one of the probably most active and actually ancient uh, study group was uh, related to the what we call the Thala, the Thala book. So created by um, Justin Thala, who is a student at Georgetown University and also a researcher at A16Z Crypto. So yeah, I, I found his face on the, on the internet. And yeah, he, uh, he wrote this book called Proofs, Arguments, and Zero Knowledge. That's what we call the Thala book. And that's actually a great tool for uh, newcomers to the industry with a strong background in cryptography and also engineering who really want to get their hands dirty and actually create uh, applications and use these tools that are uh, in the zero knowledge industry. So there have been several sessions of this study group, actually. Uh, I think it's the, yeah, that's the third one that's actually finishing pretty much uh, pretty much now. So these sessions are actually filmed and available on, on YouTube, but um, the gist of it is really to be on the Discord and actually interacting with the author himself. The idea is like they would go through the, the book uh, on some chapters, asking questions about it, more from the theoretical perspective, and then uh, switching to a couple of weeks of uh, engineering implementation of these mathematical, mathematical techniques that they have been going through. So this one is, I would still say, more reserved for kind of intermediate to advanced uh, engineers or cryptographers, mathematicians. This second one is actually a more recent one, started in, uh, in July. I know we have uh, one student here from this uh, study group. <laughs> but yeah, the, the Moon Math Manual is actually interestingly a resource that has been created by a company called This Authority in the spirit of bringing knowledge to the community and uh, as a way to teach people how to implement ZK SNARK, so zero knowledge, uh, think -think, non interactive argument of knowledge uh, for. Uh, real life and r I mean real use cases. So again, that's a book that's um, which purpose is to teach people about how to use uh, zero knowledge techniques. And this one I would say is a bit starts even from from before. So you need a bit less knowledge probably to to get started with it. Even though it's obviously I mean the point of it is to to apply uh, to, to build like re real real world uh, use cases. But it's uh, a bit more approachable I would say compared to the to the Stella book before. And the uh, last study, study club, <laughs> actually, uh, that we created is, um, so we call it SPLA because it's uh, related to a paper, a short paper called Succinct Proof and Linear Algebra uh, from uh, Guillermo Angeris and Alex Evans. Again, we have the author actually coming and giving le lectures about uh, his paper to explain what it's all about, maybe explain the you know technical details and intricacies uh, of it. And uh, so this one was, a short version, we actually just finished it a couple days ago, that was the third session of three. Uh, so they are available on, on YouTube. So you mentioned 30,000 before for the white bus session. This is already 300 in one week, so again, quite impressive for us. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's still a long way to go for 30,000, but you know, it's, that's good. And um, yeah, we tried a different format, uh, again, related to actually an original podcast that you had with the the, the authors, and um, we, we we had a great response from the from the community. And again, the idea is to be able to not only create content that we hope can be useful for a lot more people, but also find a way to have like this kind of live interaction, at least online, uh, with the different members of the of the community. Uh, yeah, let's talk a bit about events. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course I am. Yeah. So why do I say of course I am? Because this is a bit sentimental to me, this, this slide, I guess. Because <laughs> that uh, the ZK Hack Lisbon was the first edition of the hackathon we organized uh, as ZK Hack Team IRL, 
and it was in Lisbon, and I participated it, uh, in it with uh, Theo just here. And uh, that was really my first uh, interaction with the ZK Hackverse that I was about to discover in the next month. So it was a great event, uh, the first IRL um, you know, event. So some members of the community have been actually knowing each other from uh, long before, since ZK Hack was born during COVID. And uh, so it has this kind of special vibe, also for it being in Lisbon. I mean, I don't have to convince you guys that it's a great city to be in. And um, so yeah, about uh, more than 130 hackers, uh, a lot of prizes. I mean, a very nice and successful hackathon. That was followed um, about eight months later by an edition in Istanbul, which happened last month. So numbers went a bit up, a uh, few more hackers. This was, it, it acted in a way as a, inaugurational event for the Dev Connect uh, week in Istanbul. Again, we had like great feedback from the from the hackers. The yeah, it had it as we say. The vibe is always special for these IRL events because it's an opportunity for people talking, if not every day, very regularly on the Discord to meet in real life, and yeah, build cool stuff around ZK with a tooling that's now available. It was not in 2021, but in 2023, it's there, and you can now build actually apps and cool proof of concept during these hackathons. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. switch to the online one. Yeah. Although I have one last thing to say about the IRL hackathon. So I think ZK Hack as a project had always had in its heart this idea of like actually um, encouraging the building of applications in the space, and those hackathons were really a chance for us to start doing that. And just one thing, oh, uh, ZK Hack Lisbon, we actually, I think our second place winner of that was the ZK P2P team. And they're now a company and a project. Like, so they kind of went with it, that thing that they'd built. So uh, we did not expect that to happen so quickly. I think this was very much an experiment. But we learned about, or I learned about this in Istanbul, and I was so excited that like they had gone on to actually build something. They announced it in uh, Istanbul. Oh, they announced it in Istanbul. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, but I'm going to kind of take a little bit of a look back at all of our events here because, like I mentioned, ZK Validator and ZK Hack, uh, ZK Podcast, we had wanted to create an event in person, like a hackathon, but it was too early. And so what we had done, ZK Hack One, was this online event. It was six weeks, we did seven workshops, we did six puzzle hacking competitions, a bit like CTFs. So it was really cool, maybe a little too long. Like, I don't know if you can see how we did. We did six weeks for our first one, two weeks for our last, second one, and then we found a sweet spot with four weeks. Trial yeah, trial and error a little bit. Well. Yeah, it's true, it was COVID in 2021 and it was in the winter and we just like kept going. Um, what it's like, and, I, and the reason I'm bringing this up is we have a new event like this to announce, CK Hack 4 online. So it's very different from a hackathon, and I think sometimes it's confusing to people because obviously we have the same naming. I think the way to think about it is if it's ZK Hack city name, it's IRL hackathon. If it's ZK Hack number, it's online multi week event. Virtual, yeah, super easy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I want to share what this is. So, you know, we, this is our fourth time running this event. It's a multi-week event. So when you join a ZK Hack ev online event, um, you're going to be getting to know people over a bit of a longer term. You are going to be seeing the same folks joining you at workshops week to week. If you're actually competing in the puzzles, you're going to start to see certain kind of skill sets. Like you'll start to see who are these great applied cryptographers in our space because it's very, very competitive and they tend to rank higher on the leaderboard. But just to give you a sense for it, I think our plan right now is to start on, uh, well actually, maybe just go back to the, the yeah, oh no, we don't have a date. Oh, oops. Okay, so the date is January 16th and that's a Tuesday. And so our plan is to meet at least every Tuesday and on those Tuesdays, we're going to be announcing, here's the new puzzle hacking competition. Folks have one week to try to hack it. That's very, very difficult. It's usually for the most advanced in the ZK community. But we're also going to be hosting workshops on those dates so that you, if you're more on the beginner intermediate level, you can already engage that way. And we're going to have some of the best teams in the space sharing their tool sets. It's very similar to the folks who are at our hackathon. Um, I know we already have a couple confirmed. 
Um, but yeah, they're going to be basically sharing workshops about their tools, and you'll get to meet them. So when you, when you want to do a ZK hack online, what you can do is join a workshop. You can hack on a puzzle. You could potentially win a prize if you do try to hack the puzzles. But I do want to warn anyone who's not advanced ZK, it's very, very hard. That said, there have been people who like learned how to do it while it was happening. Like I have one of my favorite examples is a now friend of mine, Gershta. She went to the workshops tried to hack the puzzles, couldn't hack the puzzles. But every week, once the puzzle is completed, we release the, the solution page. And so she started to like dive really deep into the solutions. And by week three, she was submitting solution write-ups. So she never necessarily like won the top prize of hacking it super fast, but we had a prize for, for the write-up. And so within that time frame of one ZK hack, she went from like not knowing how to do this to actually submitting the solution pages that we would then use to like as our solution page. So, and she, <laughs> we also do something called the ZK jobs fair. Um, she went on to actually get a job through that as well. So she was like the ultimate participant I felt. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did an episode back in 2021 with like a recap of what ZK Hack online had been like um, with some of the winners. And for us, I mean, for me, it was the first time I got to know maybe like folks deeper in the companies. Like I, you know, I, I tended to interface with the marketing team or like the founders on my show. But then here was like the hardcore applied cryptographers who'd been working, but like a little hidden from me at least, or like not on stages or whatever. And it's through this where we started to like, we got, we got to know them and uh, see all the amazing work they're doing. Yeah. So what's next? Well, we've already talked about the ZK Hack 4 online event. That's what we're focused on right now as a team. Um, in general, ZK Hack, like we really liked making the whiteboard sessions with Polygon and we're looking for more collaborators on that front. So we. We want to create sort of somewhat chain agnostic, evergreen, like something that would last the test of time in terms of educational content. So we're not doing like promotional content for a specific team, but we know a lot of teams are also creating educational content. And so we're looking to collaborate with those teams who'd be into doing either short form, like a couple study club type things, or we probably wouldn't do whiteboard again, but something in that spirit of, yeah, educational, something people can can jump into something we could do a study group around. Otherwise, I know that we already have an IRL hackathon in the works for May, June in, I don't know if I should say it yet because it might not happen, in Europe, in Northern Europe. <laughs> Let's just, <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah, I, I guess, yeah, really for us, the main thing is to check out the ZK Hack online. And since it's virtual, you really can join in at any point. It's like definitely attend the first session where we're gonna be outlining like who our partners are and that's happening on January 16th. So yeah, I hope you've already joined the Discord. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, join our Discord. I know we like, it's kind of a funny presentation. We like kind of presented a Discord server or whatever, but that is where a lot of this is happening and it's kind of the, the heart of the community for sure. The website has a lot of the resources actually I mentioned it earlier, but the website also has all those puzzles that I just mentioned. They have those puzzles plus the solutions. If you're curious about what I meant by that, you can actually see it written up there. Um, that's on the website, but yeah, the Discord is where it's at to meet people. We also have an events channel, learning resources channel, new research, like it's where we're posting a lot of stuff that's happening. Yeah, and you get to meet all the ZK folks there. Cool, thanks everyone. Uh, hi, my name's Tyler. I just wanted to say, like, thank you. The ZK Hackathon was my first hackathon ever. Here. So, yes, here. And I remember you guys. You probably don't remember me, but that's okay. And I wanted to shout out the uh, ZKPod.ai. I believe it comes from your podcast, so check that out. And um, I don't have a question. I just wanted to say that, and it's so nice to see you guys again. So, thanks. Thanks for that. Actually, yeah, one, one thing to note is like the ZK Hack universe is one universe. There is also the ZK Podcast, ZK Summit. 
There's a few other projects that are happening, the zkpod.ai. This is the zkpod, yeah. Um, but for today, we, I, like, that's the thing is people get confused between them, but like, they are actually different companies. They're different projects. They have different purposes in a way. This is really like the ZK education side of things. That's like Kobe's experiments with my voice, basically, <laughs> and, and uh, the transcripts from the show. Um, it's it's cool. It helps. It's it helps. Oh, that's good. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, does anyone else want to know anything? I don't know if you have any other questions. Is anyone in the ZK Hack, like, has anyone participated with ZK Hack in some way in the past here? I should have asked that at the beginning. Okay, well, there's a couple people who maybe came to the hackathon. Well, that, that's great. So there's a lot of new people here who might want to keep their eye out for the next ZK Hack uh, events that we're doing. <laughs>